Hello Twin Flames, thank you for being here, for liking, subscribing and all the amazing comments and feedback you leave me, it means the world as you know and if you are new to the channel, welcome, subscribe, join our family because we're here for you every day. So I just want to give a big shout out first of all to our amazing soul sister Carmel, she sent me some beautiful gifts today including this beautiful necklace and in addition to the family, a beautiful little lion here and this is a big sign of strength coming in for the Divine Feminine. Also, my Divine Masculine, George, he surprised me yesterday with a little rainbow. Okay, and I've got a big one of these dragons, a big rainbow dragon, but this is a baby one, and he's just so beautiful. So, you know, he's going to be sitting with me on the table here from now on. So our little rainbow. And a big shout out to our soul sister, Desiree, who's created a beautiful deck of cards, 50 Shades of the Divine Feminine. And I'm super excited to be using this today. And I'm going to share the link in the description box below. So if you're interested in this deck, you can check it out there. Okay, let's do this then. So we're going to use this beautiful deck today. We're going to use the Indigo Moonlight Tarot deck, the Twin Flame Love Oracle. And this is the Secret Messages of Union. They just blocked throat chakra there. So again, things are still healing. And just before I started recording, I sat down to kind of start channeling this video and had a big coughing bout. So clearly things are being cleared again. You know, clearly, clearly things are being cleared. You know, the throat chakra is being cleared. So the masculines and the feminines can both kind of come together and talk and sit down and clear the air and reconcile and express love. So we're going to use this deck today. We're going to use the Guardian Angel Oracle to see which angels are around and what messages they have. And then we're going to bring in two powerful decks that I know you guys love, the Bridget Rowe, Divine Feminine, Divine Masculine Confessions. But first I want to share something with you now. It's so powerful how we receive signs. And I shared a little short video this morning about the signs. You know, the masculines are receiving the signs too especially because they get jealous, they don't want you moving on, they don't want you with anybody else and I was watching Dallas last night again and once again blew my mind with the signs. Yesterday we did that powerful video about going to the ball and the ball is really signifying your happiness, you know, whatever you are wanting, whether that's union with your twin, commitment, marriage, kids, a career opportunity, an improvement in your health, a house move, a change, whatever you're wanting, that's you going to the ball. In other words, that's your dreams manifesting and coming true in the physical world. And I was blown away. I was watching this episode of Dallas last night. And first of all, you know, Bobby and Jenna came back together after a long amount of time apart. And they were just talking. And they were saying now, isn't it amazing how every few years we get thrown into each other's path? So obviously they were acknowledging the power of the divine magnets of the connection. You know how you can't fight true love. Something that's meant for you will be for you. So don't worry if you think you've messed it up or made any mistakes. You can't mess up, mess up or make any mistakes on this journey because you will always end up together. Because all paths lead home. So that was the first thing. And then the second thing was they went to the oil baron's ball. And I was like, wow, it's a ball. It's a ball. And obviously, we've been talking about this ball in yesterday's video. And it's amazed me how many of you have messaged me on email and put in the comment section that you've seen things connected with a ball. Or, you know, you've seen Cinderella or all these signs. And then Jenna and Bobby were talking and I had to stop it to write it down. Okay, I just had angel bumps all through my body. Because... Jenna said to Bobby, thank you for taking me to the ball, Prince Charming. And Bobby replied, I didn't have a choice. The glass slipper still fits. The glass slipper still fits. And I was just like, whoa, the power. It's like in Dallas, an 80s show. And there it is. You know, there it is, that proof of this journey. And then just to heighten it a little bit. As if the universe couldn't give you a bigger sign than that. Uh, Pam and her brother uh, Cliff, I was trying to remember the names then, were talking. And Cliff said, I want to show you off because you're going to dazzle everybody. And that was also the message yesterday that, you know, that Edward gets dazzled by Bella. And that you dazzle <coughs> your twin. And they're giving me all this kind of energy being blocked and, 
you know, things being released. This needs to be spoken out. So you dazzle your divine masculine, divine feminine. You dazzle them. And that slipper will always fit your shoe. How beautiful. So let's see what's happening today with the cards then. So the 50 shades of the divine feminine. So excited to use this deck. I absolutely love the image on the front as well. And I just love the energy of this deck. So what's the energy of the connection today, please, angels? What's the energy of the connection? And you know, when a deck's created by a divine feminine or a divine masculine, I always feel there's so much power there. You know, so much power. Then in case someone who isn't a twin flame creating a deck, it just feels more powerful, you know? So let me know if you agree with that as well. I've also want to give a big shout out to our soul sister, Sandra Cole from Worlds Illuminator 11. She shared a powerful video about doubt and I've shared it on the community page talking about, you know, how we deal with doubt, how we replace it with faith. It's very beautiful. Go and check that out. So what do we need to know, please, angels? What's the energy around the connection today, please? The energy around the connection. I feel a lot of power flowing in today, rejuvenation again, excitement maybe, because you know you're going to the ball. Okay? Even if you're going through doubt, there's that feeling inside something's coming. And that's why I'm wearing these powerful 2021 earrings today. So this is a brand new deck, that's why I'm just giving it a good shuffle. One will jump out when it's meant to, because every day I'm shuffling. So what do we need to know, please, angels? Here we go, that's the energy of the connection. The energy around the divine feminines, please. And the energy around the divine masculines. Woo, wow. Okay, <clears throat> so what's the energy around the connection today, please, angels? The energy around the connection today. I'm just doing one card out of that deck. What's the angel message for today, please, regarding the connection? What's the angel message, please? What do we need to know? What do we need to know? The description of all these cards will be in the description box below. And what does the masculine want to express to the feminine today? There we go, jumping out the deck here. And what do the feminines want to express to the masculines today? I'm really excited for this reading. I feel it's going to be a powerful one. I already feel power flowing in here. Just two cards, no three cards, one's jumping off the top there for the feminine. So the energy around the connection today then, we've got separation, wow. <clears throat> and again, they give me this block, <clears throat> separation or a block. So you may not be in separation, look how the block in the throat is here. <clears throat> as soon as I start doing the reading, okay, I've had no issues all morning, sit down to do the reading, channeling the block. So they're giving me the word block. So a block could be separation. Okay, it could be that there's distance between you or you're not in communication right now, or the separation could be in the mind. You know, they're not opening up, they're not expressing themselves, because even if we're in communication with our twin, we can still feel in separation because, you know, they're not opening up, they're not admitting the truth, nothing's really moving forward. So I feel the separation is the block, and again, the block in the throat chakra for a reason. <clears throat> the air needs to be cleared. So this is kind of a message that's saying to you, the separation is coming to an end, to reconcile, to move forward, to clear the air. The throat chakra has been healed to clear it, okay? And the energy, the angel is, we've got revelation, wow, revelation. And you know, revelation can also mean the end times, you know, that we are going through chaos right now in the world, you know, we've got the pandemic, we've got all the economy breakdown, we've got major change, we've got weather things going on. So, you know, we're kind of in this energy where we are realizing our truth and the time is now moving forward to wake up humanity. So when I'm connecting with this revelation card, this means obviously speaking the truth and a cat's just come into the gut. Let me see if I can show you. Can you see that little cat there? Wow, look at this cat moving here. Cat's coming towards us. How beautiful. I had to share that because obviously, look, he's looking right at the camera there. Cats signify independence and power. And that cat's walking towards us. And it's like literally right coming towards me here. So it's about movement and change. And the revelation is that you can do this, that you are strong, that you are powerful, that, you know, we're ready for change and that there's great times ahead. So... The revelation is that you don't want to be apart any longer. It's time to open up. It's time to speak the truth. It's time to make things happen. 
So the revelation is about change and movement and power into the golden age. It's about mission. So I really feel this revelation energy is about your mission, coming together to work on your mission, to be together as a couple, but also to work on your mission as a couple, to bring in power and faith. And we've got this beautiful kind of horn there because you're receiving messages, you're receiving signs, you're receiving guidance, there's magic flowing into the connection. And I'm feeling with this card here, even though this is kind of the blue energy of Archangel Michael, I'm seeing this card as Archangel Jeremiah. And he is the angel that helps us to move in the right direction. The angel that nudges us where we're meant to go, because remember, all paths lead home. The energy where, you know, we're reviewing things to renew things, a lot of change and power in these moments now. And the energy is, again, look at this. This is about karmic endings. Yesterday, the masculine saying to you, I am sorting out my karmic ties. I'm sorting out my karmic situation. And this is the same one. It says, my karmic partner is holding personal things against me. My kids' security and career are being threatened right now. And I'm so afraid of leaving and ending things, but I'm truly in love with you and I want you. So he's saying to you today, Divine Feminine, I'm truly in love with you and I want you. In the separation, even when we're communicating, even when I'm busy doing other things, I truly do love you and I want you. But right now I have to wait for the right time. So it's a reminder about divine timing and that we can't force, push or change an unconditional love. We have to just accept it. So this is about releasing those demands, releasing the need for it now. Realising that if you're still agitated over the timing of this, or you're still angry about it or frustrated or you feel like it needs to be now, you are still learning to surrender. That's also part of your journey right now. And when you surrender, everything falls into place. When you're not in the energy of surrender, you are holding on <clears throat> and things are blocked, okay? It's like you're grasping on and it's like you're rowing the wrong way, okay? They always give me this image of kind of a stream and, you know, a current and a canoe. And we're in that canoe and we are rowing the wrong way. The current wants to take us this way. That's surrender. But we're rowing the other way. And it's hard work. It's exhausting. It's tiring. We get angry. We're frustrated. We're like, why isn't things going to plan? And it's because we're fighting against the natural order of things. When we relax and put down the oars of the canoe, Oh, all that tension you've been holding in gets released and we start to feel healthier, happier and more in tune with our true self. We become more psychic, more intuitive because we are feeling everything in the moment. So we allow the current then to take us where it's meant to go and that will always lead where it's meant to be, home with your twin. It will always bring you back together with divine intervention. So when you put down the oars of that canoe and surrender, you are letting the universe lead the way. So he's admitting to him, my karmic partner is holding personal things against me. My kids' security and career are being threatened right now. So he's concerned. You know, he's thinking, I don't want to lose my children. I don't want to lose money. I don't want to lose my job. So there's things going on. And not all of you will be dealing with a masculine who has a karmic partner. But you may be dealing with a masculine who has a karmic energy. And that means a fear over something. So I feel this is more of a fear of letting go or moving on or leaving. So he's kind of saying to you, I'm waiting for the right time. He says, I'm truly in love with you and I want you. So he's saying, I'm afraid of leaving. I'm afraid of, you know a new start, he wants it because he loves you and wants you, but he's also afraid too. <clears throat> and this is creating a block. So I feel this is what's currently going on today. And it says the timing is not right for your DM. The karmic forces are trapping them. Give them time to break the, break the wheel and don't let go just yet because union is so close. Union is so close. And there was also something else in Dallas that was said yesterday. I didn't write it down, but it's kind of stuck in my mind where, you know, I think it was Cliff Barnes was saying to someone, the ring is so close, but you have to take it. The gold ring is so close, but you have to take it. And he was talking about opportunities. And union is so close, you have to take it. And I feel that's the masculine taking 
the opportunity, taking the chance, moving forward. So again, this is saying to you, it may not be the right time. For some of you, it is. You know, if you look at the channel and you look through the comments and you keep an eye on what's going on, you'll see twins coming back together. You'll see unions happening and you'll see reunions happening and you'll see magic everywhere. You know, someone actually commented the other day and said something like, are oh, you still doing these videos? You know, but you don't understand that if you feel that way, obviously you guys do understand Every day is different. Every day new people are coming to the journey. We're not coming to the journey, but realizing, having a revelation of what this journey is. Okay. Every day someone will come back together or someone will come into union or many of you will. And then you'll go along your journey, you know, and you'll be maybe helping others find the way to union. And then more people will come in because this energy is happening now. We're in 2021. Between now and 2024, it's all taking place. You're seeing the difference. You're seeing the change. So if you don't feel it's moving forward for you, it's because you're still learning what true surrender is to trust. And, you know, maybe you're going to have a good day. And then the next day you may have a bad day or you may struggle. So we have to choose happiness, choose peace, choose love, choose to put down the oars of that canoe and feel at peace with things. For the feminine, we've got manifest. So feminines, you are manifesting your dreams, you are realizing your truth. So you're realizing you are a creator and that you are the star of your own show. And really that's what this full moon has proved to you, that your dreams are falling into place, there's magic coming in, that you are manifesting things even in the separation. And for the masculine, we've got fear. <clears throat> and again, they're giving me that block. So today I'm going to change the word separation to block because it's fear that may be blocking things. And you know that you are manifesting. You know that you are doing everything here to create this connection and to make it happen. But if you feel like there's still a block there, they are still releasing fear. And what is fear? It's a false experience appearing real. It's something that lives in the past that can't be changed or the future that hasn't occurred. And he's being very truthful today. He's saying, my karmic partner or the karmic energy is holding things against me. So he's in fear over this. He's worried about the fallout. This is about judgment and pain. What will people think? What will happen? What if, what if, what if? It's fear-based energy. It isn't real. So he's saying to you, I am truly in love with you and I do truly want you. But the timing is not quite right. And each one of you will have a journey that's special, unique and different. The timing will be different for everybody. But it doesn't mean the end result or the end goal is not the same because you're all working towards the same thing. Union and mission. For the masculine, we've got imperfections. So he feels like there's something wrong with him. You know, he's dealing with his own insecurity about the way he looks, the way he is. So he's healing his imperfections. He's healing his core wounds. And that can also put him into fear. What if you don't like the real me, divine feminine? What if I let you down? What if I fail you? What if I can't speak my truth? What if you don't like what you see or you don't you like what you hear? You know, this is about healing the past. And we've also got the truth. But the truth is coming out. So going through the fear shows in the truth you know being in that karmic situation or that karmic energy shows in the truth because he realizes what he wants and what he truly wants is you that's why he's saying that to you i truly love you and i want you that's the truth that's the revelation and that's what he's realizing through this karmic energy so let's see what he wants to say to you today i love your spirit you shine like a star and you stole my heart and that's the truth. You stole his heart. You dazzle him like that star shining bright in the sky. You dazzle it. You know, you're Bobby Dazzler. So he's saying to you, I love you. I love your spirit. So this isn't just about your physical appearance or the way you are. It's about your soul, your essence, your spirit. That's what he's attracted to. And he's saying to you, I feel you sending sexy energy my way. And it takes all of my self-control to not come and have you. So he's saying, I desire you, I want you. 
Okay, I'm thinking about you in a sexy way. So the kundalini is rising, the passion between you, the desire, the heat. So he's letting you know he's attracted to your spirit, but also your body and the essence of you. So this is another way the masculines remind you that they are attracted to all of you. All of you turns, turns them on, not just your physical body or your physical appearance or your looks, but your intellect, your intelligence, your power as a divine feminine, the nurturing element of you, your kindness, your generosity, your compassion, your empathy, your love, the way your soul shines, the way you are, you know, the way you are as a person, don't ever change. Out of all the women, all the men, out of all the people I've dated or desired, no one compares to you at all. No one. So he's saying to you today, no one compares to you. You know, they give me that song by Sinead O'Connor, nothing compares to you. <clears throat> and again, block. So the block isn't that they don't want you or desire you or need you. They love you. They want you in their life. The block is the fear. That's the issue. That's always the issue. That's always what they struggle with, fear. Even if they seem to be strong and powerful, they deal with fear. And I love that, you know, we've had this little lion today signifying this powerful strength energy and that cat moving towards us because it's a sign of masculine power, gaining the strength they need to move forward. <clears throat> and that's why there's blocks. So let's read the feminines. Let's, I've got more masculine cards here, but let's do a feminine energy. Thank you for always forgiving me. Wow. So feminine, you're saying to your masculine, thank you for always forgiving me. And the masculines forgive so easily. You know, they really do forgive the feminine so easily because you may think, well, there's nothing for me to, I don't need to be forgiven for anything. But when we push, when we pressure, when we send messages and go a bit crazy, sometimes we feel we need forgiveness for that. And your masculine is saying to you, it's forgotten. Anything that's happened in your connection, no matter how bad it's been, is already forgotten. It's forgiven. It's okay. And he's saying to you, you're the destination I seek, my reason to grow. This is what he's saying to you. You are my reason to grow. So he's reminding you that you are his greatest teacher, his reason to grow, that he will release fear because he wants to be with you. And that's a revelation. So he's saying, you are the end result for me. You are the home for me, all paths lead home. You are the destination I seek. I want to release everything to be able to be with you. And you're saying, I hate when you ignore me. I feel physical pain. So remember, if there's separation today, you know, if your masculine seems to be ignoring you, don't take it personally. You have to be the bigger picture or be the bigger person. But really, I'm just saying, be the bigger picture. Look at it through the eyes of heaven. Look at it through the eyes of love, not fear. Fear creates pain, struggle. And the reason we feel pain is because we want to know what's going on. We feel we've done something wrong. We feel something is wrong when we're being ignored. But in spiritual truth, he is working out what to say. He's planning things. He's processing things. Give it time. Give it time. He may be dealing with something with his job or his kids or his karmic partner. He may be within himself. He may have turned off his phone. Okay? He may be dealing with a health issue or a family situation or an obligation or a responsibility. So remember, it's never about you. If they're ignoring you, it's never usually about you. It's about themselves. So don't take it personally. If he seems to be ignoring you, give to you. Give to you. Be kind to you. Take yourself out to a movie. Watch a film. You know, what's your favourite show? Go for a coffee. Do what feels good to you. Go for a drive. Go out in nature. Give back to you. And then you won't be constantly picking up and checking your phone. Why hasn't he replied yet? Why is he online but he's not speaking to me? What's going on? It drives you crazy. So instead, leave it there and focus on you. And then when you're not expecting it, when you're happy, when you're doing you, boom, that message will come in. And he's saying to you, I want to tear off your clothes and have my way with you, leaving my scent and prints all over what belongs to me. Now, that really resonates with what the message came through today in the short video, because he's saying to you, you belong to me. I'm realizing that you belong to me and I belong to you and I don't want you with anybody else. So again, this is that jealous energy. 
You know, he's saying, I want you. I want you. I want to be the one who tears your clothes off and makes love to you and helps you to remember me. He's saying, I don't want anyone else around you. I want to leave my scent all over you because you belong to me. It's like he's marking his territory. And you're saying steamy and sexy. So you're definitely feeling these emotions and this energy. And he's saying, you triggered my spiritual awakening. So he's saying to you, you are everything to me. <clears throat> the blocks are created by the spiritual awakening. Triggering. Okay, so if you think you've triggered your masculine, you've awoken something within him. And that's the difference. Being triggered is when we take something personally. We react in fear instead of responding with love. But when we trigger something, we activate something. So something is always activated within us. Okay, when we are dealing with something we are taking personally or a painful experience or an energy, we are being activated. So we have the opportunity then to process and say, why do I feel this way? Why am I feeling this emotion? Why is this coming to me in this way? Why? What am I learning about me? So remember what triggers you is healing you. Whether it's a message you receive from your person, something to do with the connection, the karmic partner, the situation. Could be a reason you watch triggers you. You say, I don't like that. Okay, it's triggered me. Ask yourself why. Okay, why? It could be something you are healing or it could be a sign that you are not resonating with that in that moment. Always trust the way you feel and your intuition, your gut instinct and, you know, your instincts. You are an incredible person inside and out. And this is what he's saying to you. So he's saying to you, do you know how incredible you are? You are steamy and sexy and magical. And I just want to have my way with you. And it takes all of my energy to stay away. But I know that I need to sometimes to heal, to process, to learn. Because you've triggered an awakening within me. And I need to handle and heal what's truly going on. So it's like he's saying to you today, Divine Feminine, let me handle things. Let me handle the karmic partner. Let me handle my children. Let me handle my job and finances. Let me handle everything that's going on that puts me into fear. And sometimes, you know, when you're in when you're in fear, when you're in separation, that's why, because you've been healed from his imperfections, or you've been you've been protected from his imperfections. Because his imperfections can be fearful, you know, painful, and he may you know, kind of put that onto you and you don't need that. So instead, channel your powerful energy today into manifesting your dreams and creating. You know, whenever we are in separation, we do feel extra creative on this journey. We get things done, we manifest. That's when a lot of divine feminines move into mission because you're like, okay, I'm going to focus on me then. And you realize your truth and what that absolutely is. So know that you're the destination and you're their reason to grow because you triggered their spiritual awakening. And they love you for you, all of you, not just your body, but your mind, your spirit, your intellect, your soul, your power. And you can feel this energy. And that's why the same to you, you are incredible inside and out. So remember that today, Divine Feminine. Remember how incredible you are. The universe is always showing that to you in signs and synchronicities and in truth. Have a great day, sending you so much love. Love conquers all, and I'll see you soon. I've got absolute angel bumps. This is a PS message. I literally just grab my tablet to write down, like type in the name of the, the video and write all the cards in. And this card's just kind of here. Okay, I don't know where it's come from, but this card is kind of sitting here. And it's one of these cards, and it says fall leaves are blowing through it says your dm is clearing out old karma and wounds from the past and present expect a strong wind to come in and clear out the space for union and communication they're giving me fear being released so leaves are blowing through now it just really blew my mind because we're in maybot and this is connected with the autumn equinox and change and obviously we're moving forward now into october and october is kind of you know, connected with the fall season, with Halloween and, you know, all this change. Your DM is clearing out old karma. So they are releasing karmic situations and wounds from the past connected with their imperfections and then insecurities and fear. 
and expect a strong wind to come in and clear out the space. So this strong wind could be a hurricane or, you know, weather that's happening around you. But it's about clearing the air. And that's absolutely what I've been feeling throughout this reading. And the space for union and manifestation and communication. So a big sign here of what's to come. And I had to share it. Okay, I had to add it on because I thought, shall I do a little video or, you know, shall I talk about this tomorrow? And I thought, no, it's too powerful. So I needed to share. I think what I actually did was maybe I grabbed the card off the top of the deck to actually type in what the deck's called. And I put it down like that. And then I was doing my thing and there it is. I'm like, Oof, such a powerful card. So remember, everything happens for a reason. And you are being shown the truth. So in this season now, with the full moon and the harvest energy and all of this change, you are being shown that things are being blown away so things can come in. So a big sign of change manifestation for union and communication. I hope this helps. Have a great day and I'll see you soon.